So here we are with part two of does everyone go to heaven? And the answer is no. And because this is a salvation issue, we're gonna look at this and go step by step. Now, this person had made a statement that there was no hell doctrine in the Old Testament. Now, if you looked at the videos from hell, Hades, Shale, Gehenna, I gave you the Old Testament verses. So to say that there isn't, that is a false statement. This person also said that all of the hell verses that Jesus said were hyperbole. And we can prove this how? Does scripture say that? So these are some of the things that we have to think about when we are making these statements, such as there's no, there's no hell doctrine in the Old Testament when the word hell appears in the Old Testament, and then to say that all the hell verses that Jesus said were hyperbole. Do we know this for sure? So 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says this, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. And because sometimes we're lacking that ability to think logically and clearly, sometimes it's easier just to do this in videos than to kind of type things back and forth in an email. So what we're going to talk about is the mercy that God has. The passage was posted by this other person, for God has bound everyone over to disobedience so that he may have mercy on them all, or Romans, Romans 11, 32. Now, if you watch the videos that I did on burning up, see, that's why I did those at this particular time. Because isn't a merciful God, doesn't he just eventually burn you up so you're not suffering eternally? See, it depends upon if you think that that's merciful or not. But to say that everybody goes to heaven is simply not true. A merciful God will eventually relieve your punishment. Let's say you stand before the judge because you were doing a hundred and a 50, right? They could take your license, they could throw you in jail, your insurance rates are gonna go up. But that judge might not put you in jail but there's probably still going to be a fine. You'll be granted some mercy, but that doesn't mean you walk out of the courtroom completely scot-free. There still are consequences. So we sin, there's consequences. And because the church has told people that people burn for forever, they don't see and don't recognize that God in his mercy, the evil people are burned up. We just had those videos. I don't need to rehash those Bible passages, but that is merciful. If you're going to torture somebody for forever, there's no mercy in that. But God is merciful and God is just. And I went through this, that when you're being punished, whatever punishment it is, when the punishment is over, that is the grace for us. And God is, is merciful. And so burning forever isn't. And I think it's an easy concept to understand. But if you think that people are going to burn for forever because you've been misled, because the church lied to you, then you don't see that as merciful. But a merciful and just God, there is a punishment for what you do, and then eventually the punishment is over. You don't punish your children for forever when they do wrong. There's a punishment, and then it's over. It is the same way with God. God is not going to punish you for forever. There would be no reason to do that. Then what is the purpose of having Jesus go to the cross and pay for the sins that you can't pay for if you're going to pay for forever? See, it doesn't make sense. It's not logical. So there's no way that it can be that everybody goes to heaven because it just doesn't make any sense. And if you have one passage that seems like it is like the one in 1132 because God's going to have mercy in all of them, yeah, everybody has the opportunity for eternal life, but not everybody will because we know scripture says that the evil people are burned up and a merciful God will show us grace and mercy and love and eventually the evil are no more. You're not burning for forever. All right, we're gonna continue on the next one. Armor up, we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.